Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to create a learning track within iSpring Learn. Now, what is a learning track? Basically, a learning track is the way you structure your content for students to follow. Basically, this means that you plan your content in such a manner that it's easy for students to follow one course after the other. Let me show you how this is done. So let's click on learning content. And here you'll see my three courses. Basically, you'll need three courses or more uh, to actually provide the learners with a, a structured approach to learning. And since I want to keep things neat, I will move this to a different folder. So let me create a folder first and I'll call this courses. I'll click on create folder. So there's my folder called courses. I will move these three courses to my course folder. So I'll select the three courses and then I will move, click on move, select where I want to move them. I want to move them to courses and then click on move. This will move the three courses to my course folder. If I click on courses now, you'll see my three courses that I've just moved. All right, so let's set up a learning track by making use of these three courses. Let's click on create. And next to courses, you'll see learning track. Let's click on that. Now we can provide a heading for my learning track and I'll call this computer application technology press enter on my keyboard once i'm done i can add a description but i'll leave that for now first we need to set up the structure for our learning track so let's click on add and then select stage We'll call our first stage solutions development. And learners will start here and move on to various courses. I'll press enter on my keyboard. Now within this solution development, I want to add a course. So I'll click on add and then click on course. Now I select within my projects folder and select my course folder and then select my solutions development. I'll click on add and this will add my course to my first track. Okay. Yeah, I can specify whether I want to the enrollment date to be days or weeks or months or years. I'll choose weeks and I'll select this should be one week. I'll click on apply. I can also select a due date here by selecting due date and then selecting one week. I can also restrict access after that one, after the due date. You can click on apply and this will apply those settings. If I want to make changes, I can also go back to my settings and change whatever needs to be changed. Okay, I'll cancel that. Now, the second track will be, I'll click on add, then I'll add a stage. I'll call the stage systems technology. Press enter. And within my systems technologies, I will add a course. Again, you'll see that solution development is now grayed out, so I can't select that anymore. So I'll select systems technologies, click on add, and this will add my course on systems technologies. Again, it says here day seven. So this will start on day seven once this is done, but I can also make modifications here. Okay. I have a due date, so my due date is set to one week. 
and then I'll apply a restriction after the due date. If I hover over this course, I can also select the three ellipses, edit the course or delete the course. I'll leave it as is. The third and last option will be again my stage. And I'll set this to internet security. I'll press enter on my keyboard and within this I'll press add and add a course. You'll see both these courses are grayed out so I can't select that. So I'll choose internet technologies. Click on add and the course will be added to this section here. I can set a due date again and restrict it and apply it. So there's my learning track designed. Now I can choose the course completion order should it be by days or sequential or free. Now if I choose by day after each after the days that I've set here the following course will happen and then the following course but I want to choose sequential which will be every course will be available after the completion of the previous course. Okay. If I choose this one here, then every course will be available on the selected date. Or if I choose free, then the students have freedom to choose any course they want. Okay, I'll apply that and you'll see immediately it removes the days here. But remember, if you choose by days and apply, you'll see my days return again. Okay, I'll choose sequential. And I'll apply it and you'll see that first they need to finish this course then they can move on to this course and then they can move on to this course okay under the general tab I can change the title I can provide a description I can even add some tags so I'll call this computer application technology also call it computers I can call it technology or systems technology okay I'll leave it as is I can change the thumbnail I can change my cover image and this will be my link that I can share with my students if I copy this now and go and visit that link you'll see there's my banner image if I scroll down you'll see there's my solution development my first course then my second course and then my third course so the students first need to finish this course then they can move on to this course and then they can move on to this course okay so again it will only be available once this is done Next menu item will be notifications and this will be the notification that the students receive when they enroll in the course or in the learning track. Again we can notify users by adding a notification and then we can enable the completion notification and this will send uh, the admin a notification when the course is completed. I'll save that changes availability this indicates that we can set rules for automatic enrollment and as I've explained earlier we can set up groups and set up certain rules so that when a student enters the course he or she will be automatically enrolled in that particular course we can also have a default enrollment setting by due date so we can set it for a period of uh, days and this will specify the settings that will be applied to all new enrollments okay so I'll leave this on no due date and I'll click on save when I click on completion I can issue a certificate when the course is completed and I can view the template or I can leave it as is I can also gamify this learning track by providing points for the students 
so they can obtain points when they complete certain elements within the course. Enrollments. I can either enroll users by clicking on enroll users, then I can search for users or I can do an advanced search by looking at either filtering the department, the job title, the group, the manager, or under more, there's other fields that I can filter the enrollment. Okay. Under reports will be the reports that I can populate based on the course enrollments. But since we don't have any enrollments, um, I'll cover this in, in a subsequent video. Okay. So let's go back to outline. And now you'll see my learning track is set up and ready to be used. I can also, if for some reason I decide that I want to move this stage to either become the second stage, I can hover over the stage name and then I can move it up by clicking on the arrow and it will move this stage up to Systems Technologies and Systems Technologies will be moved down. And this is how easy it is to add a learning track to your iSpring Learn.